My name is Kuroki. This super cute princess is my five-year-old daughter, Tsutsuji. Thanks for taking me, Daddy. No problem, Tsutsuji. Today we're hanging out in a nearby park. Daddy, the ladies are playing the park again. Yeah, make sure to say thank you. This park is about the size of a few baseball stadiums, and college students volunteer to pick up the trash here now and then. Daddy, let's play tag. This is our favorite park. Okay, after our breaks, let's split up and clean the park. Okay. Once it's time, gather back by the clock tower. Yay! <gasps> Rock, paper, scissors! Got it, Daddy! Okay, <laughs> one, two, three, ten! Ready or not, here I come! Oh, jeez, such a happy man. I'm gonna get to... Hey, you! Huh? What are you doing? Uh, we're just playing. I was watching you. You've been chasing after this girl, haven't you? Huh? Does this guy think I'm some sort of pervert or something? No, you see, this is my daughter. Huh? Are you sure? If I was lying to you, she'd be long gone by now, and her real parents would be here too. Don't worry, Tsutsuji. This guy just made a mistake. Even so, chasing after her when she's obviously scared, are you abusing her? What the hell? Of course not. Oh, are you okay? You must have been so scared. <gasps> Let go of my daughter! <gasps> You're the pervert here, aren't you? What's wrong? Is everything okay? All the fathers nearby heard the commotion and gathered around. This guy is touching my daughter. Are you kidding me? You were the one chasing after this scared girl! You were the one doing something wrong! I was just warning you to protect her! Daddy, this guy is scary! Tsutsuji. Hey you, can I see your camera? Why are you carrying that around while cleaning? Huh? What? No way! I was watching from over there but it looked like you were taking pictures of this girl with that. Show us. Uh! <gasps> Tsutsuji? Why do you have pictures of my daughter? Uh, well, I was just taking pictures of the scenery and your daughter got in the frame. This angle doesn't look like a coincidence. Oh, ouch! Huh? That spot that you hit me earlier! Uh! What the hell are you talking about? This my is going face, nowhere. Poor, Should we call face. the police? Hiragi, what are you doing? Tokusa! It's not what it looks like, Tokusa! I didn't do anything! Huh? What do you mean you didn't do anything? I didn't do anything! I didn't do anything! <sighs> this boy who came over seems to be this voyeur creep's friend. So I explained to him what was happening. They were in the same club in college, and they were volunteering here to clean the park. I'm so sorry for everything. Hiragi, I thought you put all of this behind you. What the hell are you doing? Uh! This isn't the first time that this guy has caused trouble like this. Hello, little girl. Wanna play? Hiragi! I promise to report this incident to the college. Please, go ahead and report this to the police if you feel that it is necessary. Take the camera with you as proof if you need it. Huh? <sighs> yeah, I think I'll have to report this to the police. Are you okay? Everything's okay now, right? Okay. Their club mainly volunteered at childcare centers. Everyone likes children, but that creep likes them in a different way. He was probably just looking for an excuse to touch my daughter. I knew it, he was a pervert. Ew, that's disgusting. He'll probably be kicked out of his club while the rumors start to spread around him. I went to the police station to file a report, and they ended up finding a bunch of data of young girls on his cameras and computers. What the hell? He ended up being expelled and put behind bars. Patty, let's go to the park. Okay. 
It scares me to think what could have happened if I was letting my girl play by herself that day. I'm Kari. I just graduated college and started working. <sighs> what a day. Hmm? Akamatsu? I haven't spoken to him since junior high. Hello? Karin! Long time no see. How are you? Hey, what's up? About the class reunion. They made me the organizer, and I wanted to ask you something. Ah, okay. The class reunion. Lame. Your sister. She runs a restaurant, right? Could we host a reunion at her place? Huh? Why me? Why don't you call the restaurant yourself? And that means I have to attend. Come on, she's your sister. Just ask her, okay? Bye. Wait! Never. I'll stop by and ask her tomorrow. The next day. Welcome! Uh, hi. Is he new? He started working here last week. He said he really loved the food and drinks here. Hello, I'm Tachibana. Nice to meet you. He's really energetic. I guess he really likes the food here. Anyway, so you want to have a class reunion here? Yeah, but this place might be too expensive for a class reunion. Maybe I should look elsewhere. Yeah, it can be quite expensive. But maybe I can come up with something, let's say, $50 per person? Really? I'll have to make some adjustments, but sure. Yuri-san, you're amazing! The day of the class reunion. Wow, so many people. I thought fifty dollars was too much, but I guess not. Karin, long time no see. Susuji, Hiroki. You haven't changed a bit. You too. Here you are. Today's special. Wow, looks amazing. This is your sister's place, right? Look at this. Normally, people don't get to eat this kind of food at class reunions. Wow. Let's, Let's eat. eat. Wow, sis. Look at the quality of this, and all under fifty dollars. So good! What an amazing deal! Are you sure? And the sake is delicious too! It's all you can drink, right? Seriously, this is an amazing deal! $50 isn't cheap, but I guess it's a good deal. She said she had to make a few adjustments, but it's delicious! So good! Wow! Karin, thank you so much! Hakamatsu looks happy too! Good job, sis! I'm so proud of you! I didn't feel like having a reunion here at first, but everything worked out, I guess. Good job, sis. <laughs> the reunion was a lot of fun. The party came to an end and we started collecting money. I'll pay the bill. Please, bring your money here. Here. Thanks. Let's keep this party going! Yeah. Let's go! But $30? That's way too cheap if you ask me. Yeah, it was so good. I'd definitely pay more. Huh? Thirty dollars? What are they talking about? Kari, could you come here for a minute? Kari, Akamatsu paid for the bill, but it's not enough. There were sixteen of you, so it seems you only collected three dollars per person. Thirty dollars? But thirty dollars? That's way too cheap if you ask me. Yeah, it was so good. I definitely pay more. Let's go. Akamatsu, hold up. I told you it was fifty dollars per person. And I handed you a $50 bill! But you only paid her $30. What's going on? What's going on? It was more than $30? Ah, uh, sorry. I made a mistake. Here's your 20 back. No, not that. Why didn't you tell everyone it was $30 per person? $30 for what you just ate? Are you kidding me? What? No, you got it all wrong. I've always wanted to come here, but $50? Come on, that's way too much. But the food was delicious, that's for sure. Anyways, I told everyone 30 because I thought people wouldn't show up if I said 50. But then why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you negotiate the price from the start? Nah, uh, I don't feel like it. And she's your sister, right? I was hoping you'd get us a really good deal. Anyways, $30 is all we got. I'm sure she'll understand. And she's your older sister, just ask her for a discount. Plus, she's a woman. Even if she refuses, what's she gonna do? Are you serious? Shut up! You don't scare me, woman! Ha! Just do as I say! Hey, you! Stop speaking! Otherwise, I'm gonna pull out all your hair! What the? Hachibana! I didn't want to make a scene, but... 
I've heard enough! How dare you talk to Yuri-san and her sister like that, you piece of crap! Ah! Stop! Stop! My hair! She's a woman? What is she gonna do? Just do as I say? Seriously? Can you cook like Yuri-san? No! Can you run a restaurant like Yuri-san? No! I love this restaurant more than anyone! Which means you insulted me as well! You better pay what you owe and apologize right now! Shave your head and apologize! Ah! And remember, Yuri-san can be pretty scary too. Huh? huh? She trains me extra hard so that one day I can be an amazing chef like her! Sorry, Yuri-san! You're not good enough to chop food! Practice harder! Go! Go! Yes, ma'am! Wow. Stop. This is so embarrassing. Listen up! You're scum! You're nothing! Get that through your head! And apologize to Yuri-san and Karin-san! Now! I'm... I'm sorry! Oh! Um, we'll pay the $20. Yeah, it was delicious. I knew $30 was too good to be true. No, he told you all it was $30, so it's fine. He's the one who should pay the difference, right, Yuri-san? Yeah, that'll be $320. Pay up! Uh, um, I don't have it on me right now, and I have no savings, so... Can you wait until next month? You're pathetic. Finally, the class reunion was over. A few weeks later... Akamatsu should be here any minute. If he tries to run away... Oh, man. Hello. I brought you the money. Huh? Akamatsu? I'm so sorry about everything. Please forgive me. Why are you talking to me? Talk to Yuri-san. Uh, okay. Huh? Yuri-san, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Okay. I hope you learned your lesson. The way you acted. You hurt a lot of people. Just remember that. Yes, ma'am. Yuri-san, Karin-san, Tachibana-san. Again, I'm so sorry about everything. I haven't spoken to Akamatsu since then. I have no idea what happened to him after. That was some party. Well, but everything worked out, I guess. It's all because your food is delicious, Yuri-san! And thanks to the classmates who all got a great deal, word of mouth spread about the restaurant after the reunion. As a result, more and more people started coming to the restaurant. I guess we gotta thank Akamatsu for that. <laughs> Morning! Wow! My name is Akamatsu. I'm a businessman. I've been married to Sutsuji for three years now. <laughs> Cute as usual, Sutsuji. Stop teasing me, Akamatsu. Go get ready for work. Breakfast is ready. We met in college and got married when we were both 25. We were so crazy for each other when we first got married. One day... Huh? I I'm in charge of this project? Yeah, our boss is impressed with how well you've been doing recently. I'll support you two. Good luck. Y yes sir, I I'll give it my all! I was still in my first year of marriage back then, and I was put in charge of an important project at work. So, that's what happened. I'm sorry, but I might be pretty busy for the next year or two. I see. But I'm really proud of you. It's great that you're taking on more responsibility at work. It'll be a challenge for you, but leave everything at home up to me, okay? Just promise me that you won't try too hard, all right? Sutsuji. I'll do my best! After the project's done, let's buy a big house and have a bunch of kids! Oh, Akamatsu! However, things didn't go as smoothly as planned. Akamatsu, did you take a look at the document I sent you? Uh, yeah, about that! Akamatsu, our client had a request. Check it out immediately. Akamatsu? Yes, sir! Uh, hold on. Oh, what the hell? The project I was put in charge of was important and very demanding. I could barely make time to eat or even go to the bathroom. I'm home. Welcome back, honey. Uh, Are you hungry? 
Uh, no, I ate some rice balls on the train ride home. Okay, let me prepare a bath for... Oh. Akamatsu, why don't you at least take a... I would come home every night on the last train and be out of the house again by six in the morning. On the weekends, I would have to take my clients out for golf. Just one more year of this. I didn't have any time to even have a conversation with Tsutsuji. Akamatsu, um, my friend had a baby girl last week, and I was thinking maybe it's time for us to... Uh, sorry, Tsutsuji, I'm, I'm tired. I'm going to bed now. <sighs> I was too caught up in my own affairs and had no energy left to think about Tsutsuji's feelings. Once this is all over, I want to go to the hot springs with Tsutsuji. I haven't taken care of her recently. So maybe I'll buy her a present too. Uh, necklace? Ring? Earring? I thought I would just deal with Tsutsuji later. I had no idea how much pain I was putting Tsutsuji through. One year later. Good job, Akamatsu. Our clients seem very satisfied. They wish to continue working with us in the future as well. Yeah, you worked so hard, Akamatsu. <laughs> Be sure the boss knows about your good work. Look forward to your next bonus and a raise. And make sure to get some rest, too. Oh, that's awesome. Sweet! A raise, a vacation? I did it! Finally, I can make some time with Tsutsuji. Oh, that's right. I was going to buy a present for Tsutsuji. Oh, this might be good on her. Um, oh, it's pretty expensive. But... Akamatsu, is this for me? Oh, thank you, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'll Welcome. get it for her anyways. Wow. That was pretty expensive. But I bet Tsuchiji's going to be super happy. I'm home! Hmm, where is she? Maybe she's asleep. Oh well, I guess I'll give it to her tomorrow. Wow, a present for your wife? What about writing a letter too? It'd be a good way to show your gratitude. I wrote a letter to my wife on my anniversary and she was really happy about it. Oh, that's a great idea. A letter, huh? A letter is tangible and lasts. I heard it saves couples from breaking up because they remember the letter. Yeah, he's right. A letter can be kept and reread. All right, then. I'll spill my heart out. Dear Tsutsuji, thank you for always taking care of the house. I'm sorry that I've been busy for the past year and haven't been able to take you out at all. I want you to know that it was because you were by my side that I was able to push through the hard times. Without you, I would have given up a long time ago. I know I usually don't say this, but I am very grateful to have you. I wouldn't be the man I am without you. Thank you so much for everything. I love you very much. Love, Akamatsu. Oh. Ah! This is so embarrassing! I die of embarrassment if anyone read this! But I'm sure she'll be happy. Alright, I'm gonna get home early today. Better let her know. Hello? Hey, Tsutsuji? I'll be done early tonight, so I'll be home around 6, okay? There's something I want to talk to you about. Okay, I have something I need to tell you, too. Okay, we'll talk when I get home. See you! Maybe I'll take her to Disneyland next weekend. I'm home! Huh? Hi. <laughs> you scared me. Why don't you have the lights on? It's bad for your eyes. <sighs> so, Tsutsuji, this is what I wanted to talk to you about. Here. Huh? Okay. I'll read it later. Huh? Why won't she read it now? Oh, damn! Do I have to bear through this embarrassment until she decides to read it? No, that's impossible. I need some alcohol for this. Um, I'm gonna grab some beer from the store. <sighs> I'm still a little nervous, even after a couple of drinks. Calm down, calm down. I hope she hasn't read that letter while I was out. I'm home, Tsutsuji! Huh? Tsutsuji? Huh? Is this... Did Tsutsuji write me a letter too? <laughs> I didn't know we were on the same page. Let's see here. Dear Akamatsu, I'm sorry that I'm telling you this in a letter, but 
I'm exhausted. The days I spent with you were happy ones. I will treasure these memories. Huh? Wait, what? But we haven't spoken properly in so long. I don't see the point of this marriage anymore. I tried having faith in you, but all you would say was, I'm tired from work. I can't stand this any longer. I think we need some space. I need some time alone to think about my future. If you don't love me anymore, I'll accept a divorce. Let me know if that is the case. <gasps> Huh? What is it, Akamatsu? I thought you were on a date with your lovely wife today. Tachibana, my wife, she left me. Huh? What do you mean she left you? Hey, Akamatsu! Akamatsu! She was right. All I've said recently was, I'm tired. I didn't try talking to her too much because she seemed to always be in a bad mood. If you don't love me anymore, I'll accept a divorce. Divorce? Divorce? No. I don't want to think about anything right now. The train will now be departing. I was completely out of it. I just let the train take me. The next station is Kisaragi. This will be our final stop. Huh? Thank you for riding with us. Huh? Where am I? Rice fields? When I came to, I was standing in an unknown station in the middle of nowhere. It's so dark. I can't see anything. Hakamatsu. <gasps> Tsutsuchi. I... Hey! Wake up, young man! Uh huh. What? Oh, where am I? Oh, thank God you're all right. Here, let me give you a hand. Yes, sir. Sorry, all the clothes that my son left are at the house. No, I, I'm so sorry about everything. Thank you for the bath and the clothes. Hmm, it's fine. Don't be ashamed about accepting others' help. There's more tea if you want some. Thank you so much. So, tell us what happened. Uh, uh, my, my wife, she left me, so I explained everything to the couple that saved me. And I just was never there, and I just was so busy with work, I just, I just didn't spend any time with her, and, and I, I, it's not that I didn't want to, I wanted this, but I was so busy. I cried so much, and I didn't know if I was even making any sense. I see. Hakamatsu. I don't think your wife left you. I think she's just preparing to have a proper conversation with you. Arguing is all part of a marriage. What's important is to talk about it. I'm not sure how to put it, but it seems like you're hiding. There's no way for her to know your true feelings, and by the time things get out of hand, all you have left is regret. We've argued many times as a couple as well, but each time we took our time to talk about it until we could solve the problem. The key thing in a marriage is communication. It'll help you understand your wife better, and vice versa. <sighs> Finish drinking that tea and go back to your wife, and make sure you talk things over until you're satisfied. I decided to do exactly as I was told and find Tsuchiji as soon as I got back. My phone, it's been out of battery for a while. I guess I'll have to charge it first before calling Tsutsuji. I'm home. Akabatsu! Whoa! Huh? What? Tsutsuji! I didn't know you were home! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Akabatsu! I read your letter after I got to my parents' house last night. I realized that I didn't understand your situation at all. I I tried calling many times, but you wouldn't answer. We've been looking all over for you. Oh, sorry. My battery was dead. I'm so glad you're okay. Tsutsuji. After that, I took the old man's advice and had a long and thorough conversation with Tsutsuji. I'm sorry. 
I should have thought about you more. No, I shouldn't have bottled everything up either. Okay. Are we good now? Yeah. Oh, yeah! Huh? I forgot! Huh? The, the wrapping got a little dirty, but this is for you, Sutsuji. What? What do you think? You like it? Yeah, it's... it's lovely. Thank you, Akamatsu. Sutsuji, I know I'm not perfect, but will you please continue to be by my side? Of course, Akamatsu. We made up. I called everyone who was worried and apologized. You idiot! We were so worried! Oh, I'm so glad. Oh, you had me worried sick! The next day, we went together to thank the couple who saved me. Oh, that's great. I'm so glad everything is okay. Stay a while for dinner. I'll make you a feast. They were both very happy for us. I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> you drank too much, honey. Um, why did you guys help me yesterday? I was completely messed up. I was crying and laughing at the same time. I, I must have seemed like a crazy person. Where are you from? <laughs> I have no clue. Oh, about that. My husband used to be a teacher, but uh, one of his students killed themselves. What? He regrets not having done anything to help them. He said that your expression reminded him of his student back then. He didn't want to make the same mistake again, so we took you in. I didn't know I looked like I was about to kill myself. After finishing dinner, we both thanked the couple many times before heading home. We still keep in touch with them and stop by once in a while to help out with their crops. Me and Sutsuji are closer than ever now. If I hadn't written that letter, or if I hadn't met with that couple, who knows what could have happened. And there's one more thing. Oh, by the way, Akamatsu, my sister came home that day and seemed really depressed. All of a sudden, I heard my sister bawling in her room, so I went to check on her and... Akama! Akamatsu! I, I love you! <laughs> I saw her bawling with a letter in her hand. Don't make my sister cry ever again, okay, Akamatsu? Uh, yes, ma'am. I'll be extra careful. I was lucky that this time... I had so many supportive people around me to help pull me through. Sutsuji! Whoa! <laughs> um, what is it? But now, I'm confident that no matter what comes our way, we'll be able to overcome it. I'm Sutsuji. I'm in the ninth grade. I love to draw. Right now, my friend and I are hooked on this mobile game. Look! I drew him again! So handsome! You're so good at drawing, Sasuji. I wish I could draw like that. Thanks, but I want to get better. Really? I think you're pretty good already. Yeah, I bet you could be an illustrator or a manga artist. What do you think? Uh, yeah. My parents are really strict. They want me to go to college and get into a good company, so... <laughs> oh, I see. Such a waste of talent, though. I lied. I want to be an illustrator. I do, but... Sasuji, <laughs> how's it coming? Hey! You're drawing again! Uh, give it back! I'm studying too. No! I leave you alone for a minute. You start drawing. This won't get you a job in the future. I know what's best for you. Listen to me. Okay. My parents will let me pursue my dreams. And it's not just my parents. Hey, Tsutsuji! You're drawing again? Seriously? You're such a nerd. Let me see. I'll tell you if it's good or not. No. Come on, give it! Uh, stop! Give it back, please! <laughs> Come and get it! Hiragi, catch! I'm all open! What the? What the hell, Tokusa? Go away! Stop it! Grow up! Here, Tsutsuji. Thank you, Tokusa. No worries. Ignore them. They're idiots. So lame. Tokusa. He was smart, an athlete, and a musician. He was so talented. Plus, 
He was nice to everyone, including me. By the way, what do you draw anyways? Can I see? Huh? Uh, sorry, but it's not very good, so... Ah, gotcha. No way! No way! Aside from my friends, he's the only one that doesn't make fun of me for drawing. I don't want to disappoint him. I didn't want to disappoint him, so I never showed my drawings to him. But one day... Hmm? Wait, what? What's wrong, Susuji? My sketchbook, it's gone! Wait a minute, where's my math book? I accidentally left the sketchbook on Tokusa's desk! Unbelievable! So stupid! I ran back to the classroom. <sighs> I hope nobody saw it. <gasps> Tokusa! Tokusa, uh, that's, um... Ah, Tsutsuji! Sorry, it was on my desk. I accidentally put it there. Oh no, I'm gonna be so disappointed. Sorry, it's nothing. I wasn't even trying. I know it sucks. What? You can draw this without trying? You're amazing, Tsutsuji. You can make money with this, I'm telling you. You always say you're not good, but you're amazing. Huh? Tsutsuji, I can really tell that you like to draw. The picture speaks for itself. Let me know when you finish your next piece. Promise? <sighs> okay, thanks. I wasn't expecting this, but I felt like someone had accepted me. I was so happy. I started talking to Takusa more often. I think I'm gonna focus on music in high school. I gotta move out though, the school is far away. You're gonna live on your own? No, there's a dormitory at the school. I wanna be a musician. I have to try, you know? I see. He had a dream and he was willing to work for it. But I... Huh? An illustrator? <laughs> Come on now. You know you can't make money doing that. I see. I want to be like him. But I can't. What's the matter? Uh, it's nothing. Really? You don't look well. Tokusa, I... I want to be an illustrator when I grow up. I knew it! And why not? You're so good at drawing. But the grown-ups don't understand. Mom won't even let me draw. She says it's for the best, but... I really like to draw. I really do. I don't want to just give up, you know? If you like something, who cares what anyone else says? What? If you pursue your passion and struggle at first, so what? You gotta try it. That's the only way you learn, you know? Nobody knows what the future holds. Trying something is never a waste of time. You gotta be more positive about this. Tokusa... I believe in you, Tsutsuji. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Tokusa. Then... What? An illustrator? Stop! That's nonsense! I won't allow it! I already decided! Like you said, I'll go to college, I'll even get a job. But I'm gonna draw in my free time, and once that takes off, that'll be my main job. I promise, so please, please let me draw. She wasn't fully convinced, but she finally relented. Three years later. Time flies, but we're going to the same high school, so whatever. Yeah. Sorry, I gotta go back. Sisuji? Uh, looks like she's got some unfinished business. Tokusa! Tsutsuji! Sorry, um, there's something I need to tell you. What is it? I talked to my mom the other day. I told her I want to be an illustrator. Cool! Good luck to us both, then. Yeah, thank you. You're the reason why I'm here. You gave me the courage. Tokusa, I'll never forget you. I'll always be rooting for you, no matter what. Always. Tsutsuji. Right back at you. Let's do this. Yeah. Good luck, Tokusa. Our paths went separate ways after that, but we kept in touch. We supported each other for many years. I was going to college, but at the same time, I worked on my drawings. I started working as an illustrator while I was still in school. Tokusa was doing well, too. A famous anime director noticed his song and used it for one of his shows. He's currently working on a second piece. We were both pretty busy, so we didn't see each other for many years. Hey! Wanna meet up? 
Let's catch up. Yeah, sounds good. We decided to meet one evening. It'd been so long. Oh, I showed up too early. Tsuchiji! Takusa! Sorry I'm late. I hadn't seen him in so long. He looks so handsome. Tsuchiji, you look different. Huh? Really? Yeah, back in junior high, you were always apologizing and stuff. But now look at you. You look well. Takusa. I've been meaning to call you. But remember how I gave that speech about chasing your dreams and whatnot? I don't know. I haven't accomplished much, so I was kind of embarrassed, I guess. What? <laughs> Come on, stop it. I'm glad to see you. You've always had my back. About that. Remember on graduation day there were cherry blossoms on campus? That day, when you told me that you'll always be rooting for me? I don't know. Every time I look at cherry blossoms, it reminds me of that day. And every time I hit a dead end, I thought about that. You. And what you told me. I think... I think I've been in love with you since that day. I've still got a lot of work to do. I'm only at the starting line, but... I want you next to me. I love you, Tsutsuji. Will you go out with me? Of course! Chasing a dream by yourself can get pretty tough at times. But if you have someone with you, you can overcome anything. Both of them looking out for each other. The perfect couple. And so, they ended up getting married. The news these days is pretty depressing, so this is nice. I know, right? We can all use love these days. That's why I play this game. A story about love and friendship. I know this. It's Kenga Toki. This is the mobile game I was talking about earlier. It's a Japanese adventure game produced by G-Moon and Reject. Oh, look at this beautiful picture. It's amazing. I know. The artwork is so beautiful. And check out this list of voice actors. Amazing. Look at that. I love their voices. There are four kinds of characters. Human, demon, monster, and rare. It's a touching story about their friendship. The CG's favorite character, Izuna, belongs to the monster family, right? Yes, that's Izuna. And also, there's this character named Sichi Dayu Chono. Right now, they're lost in the dark world. Users can customize their personality and outfits during the event. So dark! Looks cool! Who are they? I've never seen them. So cool! They're the new NPCs introduced in the event! We hope you enjoy this touching Japanese-style story. See you soon! My name is Karin. I live together with my husband, Akamatsu. Hey, you want to go out for dinner tonight? I heard there's a great Italian restaurant near this train station. I heard it's expensive, though. I'm all out of money this month. Don't worry. It's my request, so I'll pay. Oh, well, thank you, Mrs. Chief. You're so much wealthier than I am. Oh, jeez. Nakamatsu and I work for different companies. I'm a chief, and he's just a regular worker. He's always had an inferiority complex because I was holding a higher position at work than him. There's something wrong with my company. I bet all those people who get promoted are just ass-kissers. Unbelievable. Here we go again. It's gonna be complaining all night. <sighs> but one day, things took a turn. I'm home! Hi, honey! <laughs> what is it, Akamatsu? I just got promoted to Chief. Booyah! Wow, that's great! Good for you! <laughs> My company finally acknowledges me. Hm. Congratulations! You deserve it! You worked so hard for it. Next year, I'm gonna be manager, then director after that. I hear you. Good luck. I'm so glad he got promoted. All right, then. Let's go eat something good to celebrate. My treat. Yay! Hakamatsu was in a great mood after that. He seemed really happy. La 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 la. Then one day... I'm home! Hi, honey. <gasps> Excuse us. <gasps> I brought home some of my staff. Huh? Uh, what about dinner? Huh? What do you think? We're eating here. What do you mean, huh? 
should at least have coal. So, get to work. Huh? Come on, guys, get in. Uh, uh excuse, excuse us. us. Sure, come in. Uh-oh. I only have dinner for two prepared. I could go buy some ready-made food at the grocery store. Hey, hurry up. We're hungry over here. Yeah, hold on a minute. I guess. I'll just serve what I have prepared and go to the store while they're eating that. I should be able to make it back in time. Wow, this looks great. Thank you so much. A few hours later. Thanks, thanks for, for having, having us. us. I'm exhausted. Akamatsu, can I talk to you for a second? What? I don't mind you bringing people over, but can't you at least call in advance? Huh? Why? Well, I've got to prepare, you know. I can't just whip something up out of nowhere. Fine, fine, I'll let you know. Please. For an entire week after that, Akamatsu brought his co-workers home with him every day. Good, Good evening. evening. Good evening. I have to get home and sleep. Early day tomorrow. Yeah, we have to get up early. Ugh, I'm so full. Are you guys okay? Oh, don't worry about us. We're still junior members. We can handle it. Thanks for having us. Akamatsu, can we talk? Huh? Your co-workers seem tired from coming over every day. You shouldn't invite them over every single day. I ask them if they want to come. They're the ones that say yes. They just can't say no to their boss. That's all it is. Shut up. It's my duty as a senior member to take care of my staff. You call that caring for them? All you do is brag about yourself and badmouth your manager, then criticize them. And you just say the same things over and over every time. You should have seen how great I was that one time. The manager is useless. You guys need to work harder if you guys want to be like me one day. What? It's important that they hear everything that I've gone through. I know how hard you work to get where you are, Akamatsu, but... Right? I'm gonna keep getting promoted doing things my way. I still have a lot of work ahead of me. <sighs> and once he starts talking about promotion, that's all I can think about. Jeez. Alright, fine. Just please, call me in advance, alright? I'll prepare something. Yeah, yeah. Two days later. I'm home! Good evening. Sorry for coming over every night. What did I say about calling? No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, guys, don't worry about it. But this guy... I heard today that you have a job as well, right? I'm so sorry for making you prepare dinner for us after work all the time. Please, let us prepare dinner tonight. Tokusa and I bought some stuff on our way here. Huh? Oh, thank you. Is that what you guys were buying earlier? Yeah. We wanted to show our gratitude. You idiots. She's the chief's wife. This is normal protocol. Yeah, but... Tonight's curry night. I'll treat you to our curry. Oh. Is that so? Huh? I'm sorry. It was so sudden. This is all I have left. No, it's not a problem. We shouldn't have just shown up like this to begin with. <sighs> wow. This curry is so good! Really? I'm glad. What the hell? Give me a break! This curry just leftovers from last night! Thank you for the food. Good night, sir. Yeah, be safe. Hey! What? Are you trying to humiliate me in front of my staff? Huh? Why did you make more curry? You think that's enough? I told them that I was going to feed them some of our special curry. Are you trying to make me look stupid? Hey, that's not my problem. Those guys are going to laugh at me now. Well, if you want to talk about it, then fine. Do you remember me telling you to call me in advance? Why is it that you haven't called even once? If you would have let me know in advance, I would have prepared more. You're my wife, right? Take a hint and prepare in advance, why don't you? Why don't you take a hint and figure out that there's only enough curry for two? What did you say to me? Shut up! We continued arguing until midnight. The next day... I'm home! Excuse, Excuse us. us. Hey, why aren't the lights on? What the hell? Chief? Look at this, sir. Huh? I'm going home. Karin. 
What? Oh, Akamatsu. Hopefully he's reflected on his actions a bit. Well, I don't plan to forgive him that easily. Hello? Hey! Damn you for embarrassing me like that! Let me guess. You brought your co-workers home again. How many times did I tell you to call me in advance? I didn't get a call tonight! That again? How many times did I tell you to take a hint? I'm not your servant! I can't predict everything! Screw it! I'm divorcing you! What? I don't need a wife that embarrasses me! Ugh, so annoying! What the hell? I'm embarrassing him? How hard do you think I tried for you? Hmm. All that effort was for nothing. Huh? A text from Akamatsu? No need for this anymore! What? After everything that happened, we ended up getting divorced. A couple weeks passed, and one day I got a call from Akamatsu's sister, Yuzuria. Hello? Hi, Yuzuria. You didn't come over this New Year's. I was surprised because you didn't even call. Did something happen? Huh? Oh, uh, we got divorced a little while back. Did you not hear about that? What? I found out from Yuzuria that Akamatsu hadn't told his family about the divorce yet. A few days later, I'm so sorry about my brother. No, please, it's not your fault. Akamatsu was fired, by the way. What? He was so determined to get promoted. I wonder what happened. Well... Uh, she's so useless! That's why she can't get promoted past chief. But I'm not like her. I'm going to keep getting provided. I'll take you guys with me, okay? Okay. <sighs> what the hell, though? She went home and left like it was my fault. Yeah. I'm the victim here. Having a wife that doesn't understand me is so troublesome. You are not the victim! Your wife is! I'm sorry that this is all that's left. Uh, what? It's all your fault! You were always troubling her! And you think that you're the victim? No wonder your wife left you! What? And plus, you always say that our manager just sits at his desk and doesn't do anything, right? If you think he's so useless, why don't you just do it all yourself? Not that I think you can. Uh, screw it! You're both fired! Whatever! We've had enough of you anyways! Let's get out of here, Kuroki. Yeah, bye. I'll see you tomorrow at work! You're gonna regret this! The next day... Manager, can I talk to you for a moment? Yeah? What is it? It's about Tokusa and Kuroki. Yeah, I heard. About those two, huh? You heard? Yeah, I was having a drink with the director and executive manager at Etra Bar last night. Huh? I was going to say hi, but you guys seemed to be enjoying your private time. You always say that our manager just sits at his desk and doesn't do anything, right? I didn't want to bother you guys. Uh, well, you know, I was kind of drunk. I just slipped. This is a misunderstanding. Yeah, I don't blame you for what happened. We all make mistakes, right? Yeah, we all make mistakes. <laughs> exactly. It was a big mistake on my part and the director's part for recommending you as chief. Huh? And the executive manager was the one who interviewed you. He feels responsible as well. For hiring you in the first place. And promoting you. <laughs> so yeah, we don't blame you. We blame ourselves. <laughs> we feel responsible. But the question is, do you? Yeah, of course, sir. I take responsibility. So, are you prepared to start from scratch and work for Tokusa and Kuroki then? Huh? They've brought to my attention that you're always criticizing them. Our chief always criticizes us. But honestly... 
I think that there's a problem in the way he runs things around here. But from what I've heard, they are much more capable than you. So I ask you again, are you prepared to start from scratch? <gasps> <sighs> That's the gist of it. Obviously, he isn't convinced, but what goes around comes around. I can't believe those idiots! Yeah, I'll start from scratch at a different company! <laughs> he probably would have been fired even if I didn't divorce him. I'm really sorry for everything. Good luck, Karin. I'm sorry too for not contacting you guys. If he ever causes you trouble again, let me know, alright? Yeah, thank you. I'll see you around then. If he was fired when we were still married, it would have been hell for me too. <sighs> oh, I'm so glad I got that divorce. I'm going to invite Susuji out for dinner tonight. <laughs> Karin! I'm Akamatsu. My first year in college, I met my girlfriend, Akane. But right after we started going out, she went to study abroad. It was a long distance relationship. Bye bye! I was really into her back then, so I waited and waited. I miss you so much, Akane! Then, six months later. Where is she? She should be here already. Oh, I. I think that's her. Hey, Akane! Hey, how are you? Oh, what the hell happened? What are you wearing? Is that a bikini? Huh? Oh, this is normal in LA. What do you think? Huh? I said, what do you think? Um, uh, well, it, it, it's nice, but I, I think you're showing too much skin. <sighs> Here we go again. You're so Japanese. Guys can walk around without a shirt, but girls can't? Japanese guys are too perverted. That's the problem. This is fashion. It's normal in America. Uh, not sure about that. And there are perverts all over the world. Oh well, it's just clothes. Whatever. Let's go home. But... Your underwear is so lame. Huh? I like this. Yuri, your clothes are so baggy. Nobody wears that in America, you know? And Susuji, you should try harder. Look at your clothes. Akane, that's enough! Stop it already! What? In America, we just come out and say whatever is on our mind. This Japanese culture of not saying what's on your mind is so outdated. Shut up! You're just being rude! Wow, you're so narrow-minded. Japanese guys. What? After she came back, she made fun of Japan and Japanese culture whenever she could and would also praise America and American culture. Then... Everyone's so narrow-minded. I mean, most of these people can't even speak English. I can't hang out with people like that. As you wish. Yeah, too bad then. We split up. I never spoke to her again. I deleted all her contact info. Then, more than 10 years later, when I had forgotten all about her. Takamatsu, you've been working for 10 years now. You're all grown up. It's been so long since everyone got together like this. Yeah, this rarely happens. It was summer vacation. We were having a family reunion. <laughs> I heard Hiragi is bringing over his girlfriend today. Wait, my brother's getting married? No, no, she's just visiting. Hello! Hey, Hiragi. Welcome, son. Sorry I'm late. Everyone, this is my girlfriend Akane. Hi, nice to meet you. What the? Akane? What? My brother's girlfriend? This is a joke, right? And what the hell is she wearing? Hello there, young lady. Uh, what's that you're wearing? Oh, hello. This? It's called athleisure. It's pretty normal in America. She hasn't <laughs> changed a bit. I've heard of athleisure. It's quite popular right now, right? Oh, you know about this? Oh, you're wearing a long skirt? Yeah. I've never seen anyone wear that in America. So lame. But a lot of Japanese people wear that to cover up their body line, right? Don't they realize it just makes them look fatter? 
Why is he dating her? It's okay. Huh? Fashion is just a way to express yourself. I think people can wear whatever they want. Yuzuriya, you're so mature. <laughs> Akane-san, I can tell you really like America. You travel often? Yup, all the time. I studied in LA for a while. I was practically raised there. What? You went for six months. Oh, so you're fluent in English. <laughs> of course. Japanese is so outdated if you ask me. The way people think and speak, it's embarrassing. So I don't hang out with people who can only speak Japanese. <laughs> what the? She recognizes me. Meh. She's talking about me. She's such a jerk. If she wasn't my brother's girlfriend, I'd throw her out of here. Hey, she. Hey. What am I even see kind kindness is to meet Mir? Huh? Oh, you don't speak German? I said, come talk with us for a minute. Por qué es tu sin negarif a propos du Japón? Huh? What? It's French. He said, why are you so against Japanese culture? Японский красивое и очень сложное слово, так что вы можете гордиться им больше. He said, the Japanese language is complicated but beautiful. You should be proud of it, in Russian. <laughs> He said, you speak English, but your pronunciation is terrible. You should work on that, in Chinese. What? How dare you? Just because you can speak a few words? You've been doing the exact same thing to others, don't you realize that? What? Take that, you jerk. You can speak English now? Needed it for work. By the way, these two, they live in America. The country you love so much. What? Oh, you know her? I've been living in LA for 15 years now. 12 years in New York. What? No. Akane, Japan is a great country. You should probably give it a rest. Yeah, expressing yourself is one thing, but denying other cultures is another. Akane? Hideki! Uh, Grandpa Tokusa was an intelligence agent during the war. He knows a lot about other countries. You love foreign countries, don't you? And my cousins live abroad too, so I thought you guys would get along, but... Uh, sorry, this was probably too much for you to handle. <laughs> I've heard enough! I'm leaving. See ya! Um... You okay, man? It felt quite nice, though, to be honest. Yeah, I've been meaning to break up with her for a while now. You dated her back in college, right? What? You knew? Yeah, I remember. You were pretty beat up when you broke up with her. Yeah. <laughs> <Got it. laughs> then you started studying English like crazy to get back at her. Stop! Shut up! But wait, why did you go out with her then? I met her at a matchmaking party. It was pure coincidence. Free the nipple! It's the new norm in America. I see. I knew right away it was her. Plus, I remembered her name. So, I decided to bring her here to teach her a lesson. She was quite the character. You idiot! What were you thinking bringing her to a family reunion? Yeah, I didn't come here to lecture someone! We sounded like jerks too. Yeah. I know, I know. That's why I bought this. Etra June my sake. You, you are, are forgiven. forgiven. You are forgiven. You are forgiven. He hasn't changed a bit. But he didn't come to help me, he just came here to have fun, that's for sure. Anyways, thanks to him, I was able to get back at Akane. Ah! <laughs> All is well. And even though I studied pretty hard to learn English. <laughs> oh! I can speak Japanese. I love Japan. Let's speak in Japanese. Maybe I should go on vacation or something. The family reunion was the first and last time I was able to show it off. Thank you for the food. My name is Yuri. Don't spill. I know. I have an older brother named Tokusa. Eat up before your food gets cold. Our parents got divorced when we were still young. So we live with our mother, Susuchi. However, she passed away when I was in high school. Yuri, 
I'll take care of you from now on. So don't worry, okay? Tokusa. From that day on, it was just me and my brother. Yuri, I got a bonus. So let's get some Korean barbecue or something. Really? My brother took care of all the bills and even helped me go to college. What should we eat? He's taken so much care of me. I have to repay him somehow. Around my third year of college... Yuri, that lunch looks delicious as always. <laughs> Thanks. You make dinner every day for your brother too, right? What a good sister. There isn't much else I can do. Yeah, your lunches are great, Yuri. Hiroki! That was great. Thanks. I'll see you later, Yuri. Okay. How were things with Hiroki recently? Hmm. Hiroki and I were studying in the same department. He asked me out recently and we had just started dating. But... Well, I've been busy with schoolwork and my part-time job, and I haven't been able to hang out with him much recently. I see. You sometimes try too hard, Yuri. Plus, I need to save some money. So, I've turned down some of the expensive restaurants that Hideki wants to go to. You should have just had them pay. No, I feel bad. Huh? It's my brother. Hey, Tokusa. What is it? <gasps> what? You fell down the stairs at work? Ah, uh, <laughs> my bad. Good thing it was just a fracture. <laughs> That's not funny, Tokusa. I was so worried about you. My bad, my bad. But don't worry about me. You don't have to check up on me. No way! I promised myself that I would do everything I can to look after you. So I'll be here to take care of you. You sure? Sorry. I guess I'll have to get better quick then. Yeah, but don't overwork yourself. You have a tendency to do that. <laughs> alright, alright. For about a month after that, I was really busy with work, studying, and taking care of Tokusa. Yuri, you forgot to take off your rag. Oh, you're right. Hey, Yuri. You want to go see a movie this Sunday? There's this movie that I want to see. Sorry, I have to visit my brother in the hospital on Sunday. What about next month? <sighs> that was what you said last time, too. You've been giving me the cold shoulder recently. You don't even make lunch anymore. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Please, just wait a little bit longer. I promise to make time next month. <sighs> Fine. Phew. I felt bad for making Hiraki wait for so long, so... Oh, this looks nice. I bought him a fountain pen as a gift. I'm sorry for not being able to make any time for us. Here, this is for you. Hmm. <laughs> All right, then. And one month later. Sorry about everything, Yuri. I'll be careful. Yeah, I'm glad you're all better now. Takusa left the hospital and went back to work. I'm glad your brother is doing better. Yeah, me too. I bought him a gift to celebrate his recovery. What's that? It's a portable DVD player that my brother always wanted. You can use it in the bath, and it plays Blu-rays, too! Wow! That must have been expensive! Yeah, it was like $300! $300? You went big! Yeah, but I was saving up to buy this for him. It wasn't supposed to be a recovery gift or anything like that. I finally saved up enough money this month. I hope he likes it. Yeah, he will. What's that? Oh, Hidaki! Hidaki? Come! Huh? What's wrong, Hideki? Hey! I said stop! What is this? You're hurting me! Let go! Hey, you're a bitch. <gasps> huh? Hideki, why would you... Hey! A $300 present for your brother? Huh? But the fountain pen you bought me was only $100. Huh? Yeah, I looked it up online. You spent $300 on your brother and $100 on me? What the hell is that? No, it's not like that. My brother has been like a father to me, so that gift is to thank him for everything that... I don't care about your excuses! <laughs> you think just because I've been nice means you can treat me like this? I've been quietly waiting all this time while you were prioritizing your brother over me. But you buy a better present for him instead of me? 
Huh? Or are you... in love with your brother or something? That's gross. <laughs> What's with that face? I'm right, aren't I? You're a freak. I don't need you anymore. See ya. Yuri! Are you okay? <laughs> what did he do to you? Hey, is that... I checked later to find that the present was completely destroyed beyond repair. It was my fault for neglecting him. But how could he do such a terrible thing? I explained everything that happened to Yasuria. I see. After hearing me out, Yasuria took action immediately. Hey, that's the guy who broke his girlfriend's things. Oh, that guy? He asked me out before, too. Good thing I said no. <sighs> Yasuria had many friends, and she spread the news. I don't know how they found out, but the company that Hideki was supposed to work for after college found out, too. We can't hire someone with potential problems like you. And they canceled his offer. What the hell? I know it's you! You guys told my company, didn't you? Huh? You got any proof? And besides, it was all true. It's not my fault that you're an asshole. Uh? He went on to post his feelings on his social media with his real name. My life is a mess thanks to that brother-loving bitch and blue-haired girl. I should have never gone out with her. I read your posts, but you're crazy. I'm glad she broke up with you. And his friends broke ties with him. He hasn't even come to school recently. Those kinds of human beings should be eradicated. Just forget about him, Yuri. Yeah, you're right. So, what are you going to do about the present? I'll save up again and buy him another one. But next time, I'm going to buy him an even better one. Don't push yourself too hard, girl. I couldn't give my brother the gift, and horrible things were said to me, bud. All right, then. It's my turn to make you dinner tonight, Yuri. Yay! Oh, yeah. So I've started dating a co-worker named Karin recently. Really? Congratulations, Takusa. I have some good news, too. The company that was my top choice accepted me. Oh, seriously? That's awesome. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm going to continue working hard so I can repay my brother someday. My name is Hiragi. I'm home! One day when I came home... Huh? My wife and daughter weren't there. Azami! Yuzuriha! I'm home! Jeez! Where could they be at this hour? And now, time for the Etra Show! Huh? Oh, the light is on in the living room. If you're home, why didn't you say so? Maybe they fell asleep watching TV or something? Ah! <laughs> Dad, were you scared? Were you? Whoa! Yeah, I was! What was that for? My heart skipped a beat! <laughs> we're having a festival at school! Mom was helping me prepare for the haunted house! Oh yeah, Azami loves these things. Pinagi, don't cover your eyes! No! I don't want to watch this! It's scarier if you close your eyes! How the hell does that work? So, where's mom? Whoa! There she is! That's scary! Are you practicing a character from The Exorcist or something? I mean, isn't this Yuzuriha's school festival? Why are you all dressed up? Huh? What are you talking about, Dad? Welcome home, Hiragi. That was quite the scream! <gasps> huh? Yes, sorry, I was pretty good, wasn't she? I taught her my best tricks. Yes, sorry, can you come over here and help me for a second? Okay. <laughs> huh? Yuzuriha and Asami are in the living room. <gasps> Wait, who's at the top of the stairs? Doing the exorcist!
when people are truly afraid, it feels as though screaming isn't an option, nor is moving. All I could hear in my head was my heart pounding. All I could do was just stare blankly at what was in front of me. That's when I blacked out. My name is Ozumi. Currently, I am having deep regrets. It all started with my daughter's innocent request. Mom! Yes? Our class is doing a haunted house for the school festival this year. I know you love scary things, right, Mom? Can you teach me how to be scary? She ignited the fire in me. I see. Background music is important. Play something that's eerie. Make sure to walk quietly. Uh-huh, uh-huh. After giving my daughter a few pointers. Thanks, Mom. I'll test it out on Dad when he gets home tonight. <laughs> He'll be scared for sure. That's when my memories from high school came flooding back. Whoa! Hey, that's dangerous. Are you scared, Azumi? Not at all. These are trained actors. Please don't try this at home. Wow, skills! <laughs> That's right. Do that thing where you rotate your head. That's impossible. I was reminded of back in high school when I used to mess around and reenact scenes from The Exorcist with my friends in the horror movie club. Hey, yes, Surya? Can Mom scare Dad too? Yeah, let's scare him together. And so, welcome home, Hiragi. That was quite the scream. Yazuria was pretty good, wasn't she? I taught her my best tricks. I recorded my voice and cutting noises on my phone. Okay, so when you hear that, you say okay, and... Okay. I went over the plan with Yazuria. You're taking this way more seriously than I am. Speakers? Tomato juice at the top of the stairs. Check. Then I waited at the top of the stairs. <sighs> My lord. The final result. Jeez! At least give me a reaction or something, Hiraki. How boring. Uh, Hiraki? Hira. Huh? Wait. You passed out? Standing up? Hello? I work hard for this family. I come home tired, and this is what I get? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I went overboard. I took it too far. He's up. Dad, you're up. Dad, Dad. Mom was so scary, wasn't she? Huh? Were you watching that? Yeah, through the door window. Whoa. Weren't you scared? No, no, no! It wasn't a cool kind of scary! At your age, you could be traumatized! Hinagi, this child, she has potential. Huh? Hey, Yuzuria, let's all watch a fun movie together this weekend. Yeah! Hey, hey, hey! I'm excited, right, Dad? <gasps> uh, sure. That's my girl! Will I never have peace of mind in this house?